sign for serenity with your succulent tip of the day and day one in Lakeside, California. We are uh, installing a front yard. This is an eastern exposure, so it's going to get full sun pretty much all day. And this area of Lakeside is zone 10A. So that means that it can drop into the 30s and even a little below the 30s um, in the winter time. And as many of you that live in the area know, we can get into the triple digits for extended periods of time in the summer. So I chose plants for this installation that are fairly tough. Are they hardy? Mm, you know, no. Uh, some of them are, a lot of them aren't. But it's not going to be extended periods of freeze. It may get, we may get frost one night, in which case the client can cover some of their precious babies, like this aloe Hercules, with a sheet or frost cloth. Planting now in fall is, I feel, the best bet because I'm more concerned about summer heat than I am about winter freeze. So these plants going in the ground now have got almost a full year to acclimate before the, the harshness of the summer comes upon them. Here in Southern California, October or September is typically our hottest month. So this, this will give the plants plenty of time to kind of get their bearings and get used to, used to the conditions that are going to be coming. Um, this garden is going to be filled with some really fabulous specimens. Uh, we took out, I don't know how many yards of river rock. Say hi to Miles. You've all missed Miles. Miles is back. Um, this was covering the entire yard and it was so heavy. So the neighbors have graciously agreed to take some of this river rock off our hands. I might be able to pull a little bit of it in and as ribbons, but I don't need all this river rock. Remember, I like to work with the darker gravels and rocks because they really make the plants pop. These really light, benign shades of rock just don't give that visual appeal that I'm looking for in my installations. We anticipate being done with this in four days, and this is day one, so we've currently moved four Six. six. Six yards of soil, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And we're getting ready to plant this aloe Hercules. This is my first plant. This is my thriller. This is my main thing. There was an olive tree here that we removed, and this is going to take the place of that olive tree. So I need to stage it and sink it first so that I can kind of get my bearings weight-wise with the rest of the garden. This has been Laura Eubanks reporting from Lakeside, California with Team DFS, day one, and your succulent tip of the day.